all right so let's make sure that we get on a branch here so i've done my push and everything up to the master branch and i'm just going to do a git status here and i've got one file that needs to follow us over it's not a big deal so i'm going to say git checkout dash b and i'm going to call my branch auth like that and now you can see we're on the auth branch so i'm going to just clear the screen and let's take a look at our app actually we want to create a new user so if you're not sign out and let's create a brand new user and i got some stuff here to show you so let's sign up Okay, we're signed up. I chose the username Frank. And let's make a new article. Roll down here. I'm just going to say new article. And I'm going to say, hi, it's Frank. This is okay, so Frank's got his new article here. Let's go to the home page. And Frank's new article is up here. So let's say Frank wants to take a look at this article, this George Bernard Shaw. Just click on any article that was not created by Frank. So our app has some pretty serious problems right now because Frank can actually delete this article and delete this comment. And none of these were made by Frank. He can also edit this comment. Let's, let's go in and edit this. Hello. And I'm just going to say Frank. So we can see, update the comment. And now it says, hello, Frank. So Frank just took a comment by this guy and updated it and put his name in there. So that's not really cool. We got to fix this up. So the first place we want to go, we're going to install a gem here to help us out. So let's go to rubygems.org. I'm just going to go directly there. And I left the link actually to the gem that we're going to use in the notes. And in here, I'm just going to type in can, can, can. And this is the gem we're going to use. This is the updated version. The original version was called can, can. And this is uh, an updated version. So we're just going to copy this gem. Go back in our app here. And we're going to open up the gem file. And I'm just going to paste that in here. And then down in our terminal here, we're just going to type in bundle. And the next step we want to take, we'll just let that go through its steps there. Let's go to the home page. This is their GitHub page. And there's a couple of other steps that we got to take. Or just, I think just one, actually. So after you install the gem, we have to run this code here to define the abilities of users. So I'm going to go back to our terminal. And then in here, I'll just clear the screen again, Control-L. I'm going to paste that in. And that's done. So let's take a look at that. That's been created in app models ability.rb. So app models. And here's the file that it generated. All right, so we're going to let this sit here and we're going to come back and dig into this file and get it set up. All right, we'll see you here in a second. Listen. Listen.